think we plagiarized that on this one? Yes! Solar instrumental. Yes! You did! <sighs> Music writing. Music writing is difficult. I, I've touched myself music writing a little bit when I wrote that EP, My Circle Wind. It's hard. You have to uh, grasp a lot of inspirations from different artists. You have to kind of make sure you're you're making something yourself. But it, it's inevitable that you get inspired by something so much that you kind of end up sounding like it. We've we've seen it so many times in 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 metal and rock and pop. Any genre has this. Examples. Revenge Sevenfold. Also taking heavy inspiration from Metallica, especially on the, what is it called? Hail to the King? Is that the song? That's just basically said, but true. <laughs> but it's a different riff, different vocals, but it's very like close, right? Then we also have s some shit like Loathe. And you know, we, we all had this like conversation. Oh my God, Loathe sounds like Deftones. But what happens, chat? <laughs> what happens when the song you make turns out to be beat for beat with minor changes sounding like a like a exactly like a different song what happens then let's see <laughs> let's skip let's skip forward a bit Let's skip even more forward. If you're not convinced yet, let's skip even more forward. <laughs> you thought it couldn't get worse? The breakdown is the same! <laughs> Oh my god, I can't believe it. For, for those of you who didn't catch the drift yet, let me show you another song. But it's just the same song. It's just the same song. So, this morning, I went on Twitter to get my daily dose of, of uh, rage bait. Uh, and I found, I came across this post, someone saying, am I hearing this right? They pointed out the similarities between these two songs. And I went to investigate. I was like, what the hell is going on here? So I went on the page of this band on Instagram. You know, they dropped a new song, they promote it. Cool. <laughs> to make it even funnier, they posted a video, proof that we didn't rip off Bad Omens. So you think we plagiarized a Bad Omens song and completely yes. stole their instrumental and just recorded yes. over top of it? Not the case. You Here's did! Our instrumental and Colin's gonna break it down for you and show you exactly what we did to make Tell the song Overdrive. Here. First, because you guys wanna act like little children, there's the intro. Got um. these both from Splice. Then, this little ring fucking sin. Here's kick number one. Kick number two. Kick number three. Where's the proof? You're just showing us how you made this instrumental. Like, we I, we don't doubt that you remade this instrumental on your own. That's not the issue. <laughs> the issue is it's the same song. I actually got some inspiration from Michael Jackson. Like, do they think that we think that they just downloaded an instrumental of Miracle? No, that's not what... That's not what people are complaining about. Some people in the comments, now, now again, take this with a grain of salt. Um, I, I didn't see, but apparently they posted a comment replying to someone like asking if it's plagiarized, but they said that they didn't know Miracle by Bad Omens. Th there's, there's one small issue with that though. <laughs> if you check out their promo video, the band's hashtags are sleep token Bad omens. Oh, you thought that's it? Oh, you know, they just put famous hashtags in the description to get clicks. That's normal. Their vocalist covered bad omens. I honestly, like, when I, when I dug into this deeper and deeper, it, w it just became funnier and funnier. Now, this is a small band, right? They have 200 followers. They clearly don't have that many views, which is, that's not the problem, right? You have, you have music that, you know, I've listened to some of their other stuff. Like they have, they have some kind of a style, right? They're writing some kind of a music. Why? Why do you need to rip off 
a band in the same genre or adjacent genre as you so blatantly get called out and then try to pretend oh <laughs> guys we didn't even know that bad omens dropped the song called miracle even though it sounds exactly the same What are we doing here? It's the same song. You know, I don't even have to do this because it's so obvious, but I'm petty, so I will. Let's drag in our two suspects into the Reaper. Overdrive at the top, Bad Omens at the bottom. We will need to make some micro adjustments because that's exactly what our Sacred Grounds did to this song. We're gonna move Overdrive slightly here and line it up about there. We're gonna cut the chorus here and move it up somewhere around here. Again, line it up a bit. And then last thing we're gonna do is pitch shift Bad Omens Miracle by one semitone. That's it with micro adjustments. Let's just hit play now. <laughs> Let's hear the chorus. It's crazy to me I didn't even have to do anything to the rhythm. It's the same exact tempo. <laughs> I don't have to keep going, but I will. Well, maybe they changed the breakdown a bit. I don't even have to hit play. Look at this. Look at this. It's the same song. If you still think these two are not the same song, you're the ones acting like children, not me. I, I, I thought I'd share this with you because it's so funny to me. This, this band needs to own up to this little boo-boo they made because this is a boo-boo. And this response video, think we play it's fucking hilarious because it's not a response video. They're just explaining how they made the how they made the rip off instrumental off of Miracle. My my advice, my bottom line, for, as a as an outside, unaffiliated with either side, observer, take this down, take the song down, take this explanation down, apologize, and move on. Write more music. If you think that no one's gonna notice when you rip off one of the most popular bands in metalcore. They will notice. They will notice. And they did. Less than in less than 24 hours they did. So, moral of the story. Don't fucking copy someone else's music. <laughs> and it, and if you get caught, don't pretend you didn't know the band. Don't pretend you you it was a complete accident. It's the same song. <laughs> don't do that. Don't do that. If you're a, if you're a small band, don't do that. That was my little yap session. Uh, I hope you enjoyed my TED talk. Do not rip off bands. Make your own music. There's genuinely no reason to rip off bands. There's no profit in it. You're gonna be found out, you're gonna be made fun of, and you're not gonna reach any kind of success with it. Simple as that. So there's that. <laughs> I'm sorry, I needed to t get it off my chest. It, it, wouldn't, it would not have been just a, a tweet. I needed to get it off my chest by talking about it because it's so funny. It's so hilarious. See you in the next one.